Okay, this week, San Carlos TV video of the week is only 10 months late. I remember the day as if it happened yesterday. I participated in the 7th annual Yellowtail Open Spearfishing Tournament held right here in San Carlos last March. This was a pretty good turnout for the event with divers from California, Colorado, Arizona, and Mexico participating. <laughs> Where are you guys from? Durango? Durango, Colorado. Hey, Durango, Colorado. Yeah, man. Do that we get a lot of diving in up there. It's great. It is a one-day affair, and you are allowed to weigh one fish, preferably a yellowtail. Actually, only a yellowtail. I'm not a Raiders fan. You're not a what fan? A Raiders fan? I'm not. Well, what the fuck are you doing with a Raiders hat on, then? <laughs> Tournament starts at sunrise, and like pretty much all of the last tournaments, everyone runs out to San Pedro Island looking for that one elusive yellowtail that will win you the big Ironwood Yellowtail Trophy. This year was the first year ever that no one actually shot a fish. But considering the entry fee is only $50 and you are guaranteed a raffle prize that is almost certainly uh, worth more than that or two or three times more than the entry fee for the tournament, well, I'll uh, let Seamus, the man behind the tournament, lay it out for you. Uh, excellent weather, pretty much perfect diving conditions, a little low vis in certain areas, although no fish, no fish, but you know what, everybody makes the effort to come down. I, I don't think they're coming down to win the trophies as much as they are having a good time. And they had a good time, we got great prizes, great donations, and everybody uh, you know, came out of the water safe and yeah, at the end of the day, that's what's most important. This is the first year we, that nobody's gotten a fish, correct? This is the first year that we haven't given out a trophy. So, I unusual to have conditions like this and not have the fish. And you've got it set up in such a way, just to explain really quickly, you've got this set up in such a way that even with the entry fee, you're still going to get a great raffle prize. Just talk about that briefly. Yeah, I... I Working in the dive industry, I have affiliations, good sponsors, uh, good companies who sponsor the event heavily. And it's my way of just kind of uh, thanking people for making the effort. It, it's a $50 entry fee, and most people walk away with 100 bucks minimum worth of prizes, if not three, 400 bucks. So, so essentially, it's a no-brainer to enter the tournament. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Thank you very much. That All was right. great. Okay. You got to get it. Vince Radis? I have children. You can put them in here. This is perfect. Oh my god. Actually, that's just what he lives down here. Sorry. That'll go right on the back of my motorcycle. Perfect. This year, I walked away with the absolutely biggest raffle prize of all a humongous pelican case, which my children love. Oh, perfect. Just what I just what we needed. Perfect raffle prize. And uh, so that does wrap it up for this week's video of the week uh, from San Carlos TV. Thanks so much for watching and con el favor de Dios. I do hope to see you all next week. And uh, please check out this website if you would like to participate in the Yellowtail Spearfishing Tournament. Hasta luego. <laughs> Some people say it's not the size of the boat, it's the motion of the ocean. The girls don't want to cross the Pacific in a canoe. What, what are you trying to say, Mario? What are you trying to say? <laughs>